Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Bible course, and also brand new is the Pocket Series Guide. Um, and today I want to share with you something that <clears throat> that I heard uh, one of the preachers say during the camp meeting this week, and I'm just going to touch on it briefly, give you some scriptures and have you go and study it yourself because it's some awesome stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go over it and touch on it. And uh, it starts in Acts 2. Uh, Acts 2, uh, 1. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of, ri as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. And one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Well, the part of that that I want to go over in today's blog is a sound from heaven. Now, whenever the Holy Spirit is around, there's always sound because the Holy Spirit is the, I guess I sometimes say the muscle of God. The Holy Spirit enforces words. Um, in John, Jesus said, uh, "The work that the words that I say, the Holy Spirit does the works." So sound always precedes the moving of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't move unless there's words spoken or if there is sound, and that's really, really, really important. Um, today, I want to go over a little bit in a couple of those different sounds. And one of them is uh, 2 Samuel 24, uh, I believe, in 2 Samuel 6.15. Let's just do 2 Samuel 6.15 and see what that has to say. Because it's very important, if you just go to your concordance and you look up the word sound and follow it through, all the way through the Old and New Testament, you will be amazed at uh, 2 Samuel 6:15. Okay, now the ark of the Lord came into the city of David. Michael, Saul's daughter, uh, looked through the window. Okay, she he was dancing and singing. She despised him, and she brought the okay uh, da, 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 offering. And when they finished the offering, okay. Anyway, um, before if you go a little bit further. Um, it talks about whenever they moved the ark that there was a sound of the trumpets, the sound of the praise and worshipers going before the ark of God. And the ark of God represents the glory of God. So that's sort of like a foundation. And then, whew, it's hot out here. Um, 1 Kings 18.41 And that's when Elijah said uh, there won't be no rain on the land until I say so. And then he started, he said there's going to be, I hear the abundance of rain on the land. Go tell the king or whoever to go because he's going to get stuck in the mud with the chariot. Uh, he says, I hear the sound of rain. And he prayed for rain and there was rain. And the natural always precedes the supernatural. And in Oklahoma we had those tornadoes and one of the things they said about the tornadoes is well, I know one of the things I've heard is that there was a silence. There was no sound. And then all of a sudden there was a sound that you could hear. Um, and you knew that the tornado was there. And the natural precedes the supernatural. And, and, and this pastor was preaching, I believe... And through what I heard yesterday, it just you just got to get the tapes and listen to them. That that because what the devil took and meant for destruction, God's going to turn around and turn around for good. And I believe that there's going to be an awesome revival coming out of Oklahoma because of the destruction of the, the, that the tornado did. I believe that it is a prophecy that revival is going to come from Oklahoma. And Okay, so um, let's go on. Let me see what else we have here. The sound, there was always praise and worship before the ark. Always the sound, the sound of the trumpet. Uh, Ezekiel 33, 4. Ouch, mosquitoes are out here. Um, this talks about the watchmen on the wall. Where, they, where were they when they were building the wall? Uh, John 4, 4. Um, we overcome them by the blood of the Lamb. 
or greater is he who's in us than who he's in them. And another scripture is in Revelations. It says we over, they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. A testimony is words spoken. And there again you have a sound before the Holy Spirit moves. So sound is very important. In Acts 2 it talks about um, there appeared to them suddenly the sound from heaven came okay and then it says that divided tongues of fire sat on them and they were all filled with Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues so many people want to fight tongues the Holy Spirit comes with tongues part of the Holy Spirit is tongues the special language right here it looked like fire of tongues and he says that those who believe will speak in other tongues it also says that um, uh, that he'll baptize us with fire so our words are probably the, one of the most important things here on the earth. Everything on the earth was created supernaturally with words, with sound. So sound is very important. And uh, let me see if there's any other scriptures here I wanted to go over. Oh, I just wanted to share with you uh, about uh, the wind. And part of the sound is wind. And you'll have to get this... Tommy Bates is uh, teaching on um, Monday night on the sound and it was awesome and I just touched on it and I just kind of went in a different direction that God led me to go on but you have to get that he talks about Tahila and Tafila I don't know how you say it those are uh, praise words words that we use when we praise uh, Hebrew the original Hebrew words uh, that they used for the word praising God and shouting to God and clapping to God those are words that they use and you have to go and look that up and get more and deeper into it but I want to share with you real quick a vision I had in regards to the winds and the tornado winds and the change of winds and revival starting not coming to but starting and spreading out from Oklahoma um, this happened probably about two years ago and I was actually in the Walmart parking lot um, I was just sitting there in the car and I just had this vision and it was like a military drop I saw four gigantic angels that were probably about um, three stories high uh, you know they were as high as three houses when they were standing or like from a distance like the third light on uh, the tower red towers that have airplane lights on they were at least three stories high I don't know how many feet high that is of three big houses and they dropped down from the sky and when they dropped they landed into a ready position like a ready runner and they all dropped they dropped right into that position and they had on uh, it was almost like what they had on was part of their body they had on helmets that came across here and came down like this and over their heads and then they had like armor on the front and their faces were like chiseled like 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 you see in um, comic books chiseled heroes you know all chiseled and you know high cheekbones and chi very chiseled looking and they had their face set straight ahead their head up like this like in the ready run position ready to hear the go sound the sound they were listening ready to go waiting for the signal the sound and I said God what what is that and I didn't know what they were and then I realized they were angels and they were uh, then I heard God say that they that it had to do with the winds of change and only now am I realizing what he really meant and that was the here they were getting ready to bring revival to Oklahoma to bring revival they were dropping on the I, I don't know if they were dropping in in the Walmart parking lot that I was in in Oklahoma or if they were dropping in the four corners of the earth or what but they were dropping down and um, in the ready position waiting for the signal go and the Lord said change of wind trade winds change of winds and I, I looked it up and it, it, and it was just really cool and now I see it relates to the Holy Spirit and the wind that came uh, like a mighty rushing wind and it's so exciting because I can confirm what Tommy Bates taught about revival in Oklahoma I can confirm that from that vision I saw two years ago and it was really exciting and so that's all then uh, I was um, in the prayer room about probably a month later 
at uh, the lighthouse when I was going there on a regular basis and um, and I said all of a sudden the Lord dropped into my spirit I wasn't even thinking or talking about it. he dropped into my spirit and he says those are revival spirits that you saw in that vision I go, oh wow awesome awesome so I got all excited and I have this some different places on my website um, I I have uh, sharing this and stuff but I was really excited about that and I can just confirm that uh, revival is going to begin in the Oklahoma area in in this whole area here and I'm excited to be part of it so I just wanted to share that with you and confirm what Tommy Bates was teaching on Monday night on sound and get his uh, tapes his CD DVD uh, from the lighthouse.org lighthouseok.org it is really really awesome so my name is Robin Bremer Robin Bremer.net is my website and I will talk to you